everybody, it's Marcy. Um, today we are going to be making blueberry muffins with our gluten-free white chocolate pancake mix. Oh, doesn't that sound like a fabulous combination? So um, before I get started, I wanna show you a couple of things that I wanna make sure and tell you. Today is the last day for our sale. We have, um, aside from a lot of great products, some of which are starting to run out because a lot of them were limited time. Um, we've got our shakers. I make salad dressing with this little one. I have a bigger one someplace and that I use for martinis. This is the best thing. I totally love it. It seals really well and it doesn't leak. I've had martini shakers in the past that have leaked. This one is great. So, um, plus the little one, I guess you could make a one person martini, the big one, you got it for a couple, but either way, it's great. The other, um, one of the other non-food things is these fabulous bags, they're $7. It's such a great deal right now. So they're lined, they're padded, they're insulated. They've got a zipper on this side. Hmm. I found a bunch of my business cards in there. Huh, interesting. Um, but they're really great and I use them for everything. I told you I use them for a computer bag when I travel because it holds a whole bunch of papers. It holds all the books or magazines I want for the airplane. So I wanted to make sure and tell you about that because that sale ends tonight. But $7 for that? Oh my gosh, what a fun thing to like give to somebody who loves to cook, fill it up with different products and things, or to just keep in your car in case you like, um, you know, have you need refrigerated stuff kept a little colder than it would be outside. Um, okay, so let's get going on these blueberry muffins. Um, okay, so I've got our gluten-free white chocolate pancake mix. And for people who have gluten, who really can't have gluten, it's so nice to have so many things that you can do with this. I know I've made a million things with this. I've made uh, pancakes, waffles, crepes, funnel cakes. Um, I actually, I think I made a cake. Oh yeah, I made that banana chocolate cake with this. Um, but all of it is so good. Okay, so, and I will tell you a secret. I am doing this today because uh, Misty with Go Travel Getaways and Joy are going to Plymouth, Massachusetts tomorrow. So I don't know if this recipe I'm gonna be making tomorrow is specific to Plymouth, but it is specific to Massachusetts. I think it might sort of be like St. Louis. Um, you know how everybody gives us such a hard time for the St. Louis sliced bagels. Okay, so we're gonna do two and a half cups of this. I really wanted to do a half a batch, but it only takes one egg and I didn't feel like dealing with that. Okay, <clears throat> although I could have done that, I probably should have. Okay, so two and a half cups of the pancake mix. And then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, then I'm gonna get some of that sugar. It looked like it got a little chunky there. Okay, got that. Then we're gonna add one egg. <clears throat> and then three fourths of a cup milk. Whoa, <laughs> that came flying out three-fourths of a cup of milk, and then half a cup of m melted butter. Now, you guys know how much I cook, right? Well, obviously, if you're watching this. I gotta tell you, the thing I have the most problems with is melting butter. For some reason, I either, um, it explodes all over. I now put one of my um, Norwex, like, shield things on it so it doesn't. This one, it, like, just boiled over. I just, it's like such a crazy simple thing that apparently I have problems with. Okay, mix all of this together. Oh, we made those mini pancake muffins too that once. Oh, those were good. I mean, I love using this because it's so easy and it's so delicious. Okay, the last thing you gotta add, well, it's not gonna be blueberry muffins without blueberries, right? 
You know what I did with these? I um, bought some fresh blueberries at the store one of the times I went out, and I'm really trying to limit the number of times I go out. Um, and I just took them by the handful and put them <clears throat> in little Ziploc bags and stuck them in the freezer so that I'd have them for later. Okay, now I'm going to just put them in the muffin cups. And then they cook at uh, 400 for 15 minutes. Now you could also do like a streusel topping or something like that on this, but I don't need that for what I need them for tomorrow. And you could always add that later. These are probably a little too full, but I'm gonna do some big ones and I'm gonna do some little ones too, because why not? <clears throat> and I sure made a lot of these. Yeah, I definitely should have cut the recipe in half. <laughs> Um, if any of you watching are from Massachusetts, I think you might know what I'm going to do tomorrow. It's an odd um, Massachusetts thing. but um, And as far as the St. Louis, we got such a grief for bread slicing bagels for, uh, I guess it was over the summer. And um, my daughter always says, um, it's so much better like that because there's so much more surface area that you can put on uh, cream cheese or jelly or whatever you want on your bagels. So there's the justification behind that. I'm going to pop these in the oven and you will see how they come out tomorrow. I hope you join me here tomorrow. I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.